Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another ex exciting episode. He's losing the air. <laughs> uh, well, I'm leaking. Edition of This Is Our Life. <clears throat> now, eventually, this video will be uploaded to YouTube. But I have to figure out where the file is. I can't figure out where the file is. Is I have under a different under a name or something. Yeah, I did. That's what I did with the last one too. But, but you can't find it. Can't find it. So anyway, it's hiding. Yeah. You know, doesn't want to come out. Um. Anyway, so I talked to my uncle. Uh, I want to say tonight. It was more like yesterday. Um. What? Last night. Last night. Yeah. I hope he comes. I mean, no guarantees, but I hope he gets up here. Um, you have to twist Jane's arm. Yeah. Then I have to like find a way to get him to come up. But you know, another problem is like if he, if my well, not just my uncle, anyone that's coming up. You cannot fly in on commercial airline on a commercial commercial flight into Keene because it's a tiny city. Yeah, they got rid of commercial flights a few years ago. Oh God, why did they do that? I don't know. I guess they didn't have enough people coming in. Or I mean, now now um, Greyhound only comes once a week, and they don't even come through our town. Well, doesn't. No, it leaves one. Yeah, it comes once a week, but leaves every day, I think. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so, you know, people are going to... You can fly into Concord. You can fly into Manchester. You can fly into Boston. Um, I think you can fly into Lebanon and uh, Brattleboro. Not sure if you can fly into Brattleboro. But, um, take the bus to Brattleboro and the train. I was thinking, I asked my beautiful fiance over there what she thought about this. I mean, there, we can't, we don't have the money to go on a honeymoon. But let's say as one of our wedding gifts, somebody said, okay, where you want to go on a honeymoon. With all honesty, Spain. It's just I wouldn't come back. Um, Ireland, but I'd come back from Ireland. Well, I think I would. I hope you would. <laughs> uh, so, I don't think anybody's going to get us a honeymoon to Europe, but I haven't seen Europe in so many years. I kind of miss it. I miss Spain a lot. A lot. It's always been my home. Always will be my home. So of course, we go over there and they look at my passport and they see, you know, the Spanish authorities see, it says uh, where, you know, on the passport it says where you're born, where you're from. And it says Spain. Unless the laws have changed, they can keep me there. Although they have no reason to keep me there because I have no anything that would have them keep me there. I don't have a skill or anything like that that's unique. But uh, so another option would be to take the train. And I was trying to find out how much it would cost, see if we could afford to do it from here to Springfield, Illinois, and then to San Antonio, and then back here. We would have to... See, the problem is Brattleboro has a train station. I think it's like a little tiny yeah, it's, hole in the wall. It's like it goes north in Brattleboro, but it doesn't go south. Something like... It's really odd. So, I don't know. I guess we'd have to... Leave out of Boston? Ugh. 
we probably have to drive over to Manchester or drive to Concord, that would be better. Take the, the public bus into Boston. It would be a lot easier driving in, in Concord than Manchester. And then take the bus or the rail into Boston and then wait for the train there. But anyway, um, I don't know, spend three or four days in each town. I want puffy tacos so bad. I want puffy tacos. And you don't get no puffy tacos up here. You don't well, get no. Well, when we get to Springfield, I'm going to sit you down and make you eat a horseshoe. Yeah. It's actually a food dish for those who might it's like. It's not an animal. Yeah. And there's a pony shoe, too. Mm -hmm. Smaller, but. <laughs> hey, Miss Maggie. Um, so. You're going to hit steak and take and you're going to have chili mac. Mm. Chili three way. You have chili mac, chili three way, or chili five way. Oh, my. Yeah, don't. Um, but my wife really likes, um, uh, what was that? Luna's or something like that? I forget. It's on East Travis. She liked it. I hope they're still there. Um, and uh, another place I'd like to take her, well, I'd like to take her on the river walk. I mean, actually, not just like walk down to the river, to the, to the river level and then walk back up. I mean, actually, you know, spend the evening on the Riverwalk. Um, go eat on the Riverwalk, which isn't cheap, but believe me, it's not cheap because it's a tourist trap. Um, but there, there's Cafe Rosa Numero Dos, which I would like to take her to. And... I mean, we can, in San Antonio, we just use the city bus. Not like there are that many places that I'd want to take her, you know. And you don't have to go that far. Yeah. You know, I mean, if we got a hotel, oh gosh, we could, we probably couldn't get a cheap hotel down in the city, in the city center, but there are some hotels, like, just outside a city center, and we could oh, stay there. Expensive. Yeah, or like uh, near where I used to live. Actually, I don't know where my uncle and cousin stayed. Over by IHOP, there's that one. Then there's another place just down the street that's a little more convenient for our situation. Um, so you know, we could stay there. And, um, and that would be perfect because then we could, you know, like we could, the only problem is if you take the train to San Antonio, it arrives at midnight and you're in city center at midnight. Oh God. Now, ci yeah, city center at midnight is not bad in San Antonio. It's just dead as a doornail. Well, it depends on what night it is. You know what I mean? It's, it's you know, it's, if at it's midnight. Well, if it's a Friday night or Saturday night, it's going to be busy, busy, busy. Um, and you got to watch out for all the hooligans. Yeah. Uh, so, oh my goodness. We would, we would arrive at midnight. We'd probably have to take a taxi, although I think the, the buses run. But right there where the train is, I don't know exactly. You'd have to actually, it's not in the best part of city center. You know, you have to walk a few blocks, three or four blocks, before you get to a pretty decent place where you can actually walk around at night. I mean, my goodness, I, I, I walked on the south side at midnight, I walked through the east side once. You know, I went to the to the south side, and I couldn't get a bus back, so I'm way, way down on the south side. 
and I had to walk all the way back to close to where my mother used to live. And I had to walk through the east side. White boys don't go to the east side. <laughs> but I didn't I didn't know my way around that that part of town, so I mean nobody messed with me or anything. But um anyway, so but you know, if we get off the, the train, we can get a bus, I'm mean, not a bus, a taxi up to whatever that hotel is. I'd have to look it up, La Quinta or something, and get up there, and then we could sleep in. You know, we'd probably have to sleep in. And then for lunch, we could run over to Cafe Rosa and... Um, they're only open for breakfast and lunch, and Lula's, Lula's is the one that's downtown city center. Uh, they're only open for breakfast and lunch as well. It'd be like, um, when we were on the bus and arrive at Little Rock at midnight. Yeah. So, what we could do, the well. The was barely open. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we could take the bus, but the yeah. train is, what, $10 more than the bus? I mean, come on. Uh, that was, yeah. But um, anyway, so, I don't, I mean, you know, we could, I'd like to take her to Henry's Puffy Tacos over on Bandera. Take the bus over there and the bus back. Don't want to walk way over there and back. Right, quite a way. Huh? Yeah. I, not that I haven't walked that before, I have. But um, from there, you just take the, the Loop Express, the 550 or 551. I still remember. Actually, a friend of ours was in San Antonio today. They were down in the, she and her boyfriend or whatever he is. They're truck drivers. And they went down to the valley and pick up a load. And they went through San Antonio. And then they were in Austin. And I, I knew, you know, she said, traffic. And I'm like, uh, you're on 35, aren't you? She said, yep. I said, um... You, you're going to you're gonna have traffic till you get out of the Austin area. Because that's... That I mean, bad. Yeah, you're going to have traffic till you get out of the Austin area. And then you're going to be doing pretty good until you get up closer to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I don't know where they're going. But... Anyway. So... Um, anyway, oh, Spain plays tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Or today, or whatever. Um, Mexico won, but not because they actually scored, because nobody scored. It was Brazil and Mexico, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, the, the, the Mexican goalie. Gosh, he was good. Oh gosh, was he good. But, um, what? What'd you say about him? He was, he was really good. I don't think the rest of the players were all that great, but he was he was fantastic. But Mexico won because of the points, the way they do the points in, in FIFA. So anyway, so the wedding is coming up. My, my uncle said that the invitations were very professional, and we told him, well, we printed them. We made them. He's like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know? But, yeah, actually, there was a, a day and time where you couldn't do that, where you actually had to go to a printer and do all that. But, anyway, we got to make some more wedding invitations to hand out to people. I remember to hand them out. Yeah, I remember to hand them out. So, and we're, we're kind of on the hungry side right now. We're kind of... <laughs> we're pretty much having to eat on what we get from the King Community Kitchen. Crazy. You know, so. Anyway. And it rained tonight, but of course it rains a lot here. It's like you could be living in the Northwest, you know. But, excuse me. Um, I hope uh, Marie, Maria, Marie, I forget her name. John's wife, um, she received her invitation over in Germany. I hope she can make it. 
I really want to meet her. Um, I mean, John never whined to me, cried to me. It wasn't till later, till after they killed him, that I found out that he didn't do anything. He took the, the rap for his sister or his sister's boyfriend or whatever. I have to. Did he, act, did he ever tell you? No, he never. He, he all he told me was I asked him if you if I could make a Facebook page for him, and he said no. I, I don't want to talk about my case. That was that was it. That was the extent of it. But um, I still have all his letters. So. But um, no, I'm gonna keep those. I've been trying to burn a, a, a CD for some music for the wedding, but I don't know how to do that correctly either. So I got one song burned, even though there's a list of songs, only one of them. Anyway, so um, I don't know what I did with it, but somewhere uh, around here is a money order for $20. I just don't know where it is, because uh, initially I was going to mail it off to now this place, Universal Life Church, which I happen to be a minister of, but uh, maybe you know, but Considering our situation right now, if I happen to find it, we're going to get it cashed. Because I didn't fill it out. I have the things for the photographs. And no, I put it in my pocket when we left because I got it at Walmart. But anyway. Hope we didn't wash it. Me too. Anyway. So some I think it's either on top of my desk or on top of the table in the kitchen. But um it would be nice another nice thing if somebody could get it for us for our wedding would be some lamb. I mean, I, we, my wife found it, or my fiance, I should call her my fiance right now, not my wife, because we are getting married. We haven't been married yet. But anyway, um, the, um, she found some stuff, some property. That was my wallet falling. Um, in our town. And that would be nice because we already know our way around here. We know the people. They know us. And we get along with the folks here. And we're on good terms with a lot of folks here. Not a lot, but, you know. And we went and saw the alpaca today. But that lady's selling her house. She's moving. Um, oh, maybe more land for the alpacas. Leo and Amos. Yeah. I mean... Billy had two. And they are really friendly with her, but with other people, they're like, the white one. He was born in the wild. Yeah, the white one is, is like standoffish. He'll look at you. He'll watch you. The brown one, Senor Amos, he, if you give him clover, he'll come up to you. But if you don't have clover for him, he want nothing to do with you. But when she goes out, Oh boy, they, they love her. They follow her. And they get along with the dogs. There were two dogs that came outside today. But, um, we don't want to really live right over there, though. We'd rather actually have a couple of acres of land. Maybe five acres of land. But I want to go shoot. But I don't want to go shoot where I usually shoot. So... Um, I need to find another place to shoot. And if we had like five acres, we wouldn't even need five acres. I could make a backstop that I could shoot into.
I know, dreams, dreams, dreams. But anyway, you know, I mean, I need to stop adding stuff to that wedding registry. Yeah, over 3,000 things. <laughs> now, some things I don't need, I couldn't figure out the price, so I just put a one. So, anyway, I guess I should end this video. Um, oh, uh, one other thing I was I was thinking about. See, we both went over. I don't remember what it's called, the uh, rehabilitation commission. Yeah. You know, we we both went over there. You know, my wife is dealing with health issues, so I understand her not being able to do that. But I was thinking, first, I want to talk to the local EMS, and and then look through the books and then decide if this is really what I want to do and I'm thinking it is and I could go through uh, the rehabilitation services and I would really like to take the semester-long class at Keene State if they pay for it and um, then I could I could take the EM EMT basic class Actually, there are two classes you have to take at, at King State, but they're semester long, which is, in my opinion, probably a better thing, because otherwise, you know, you're you're taking like a six week class or something like that, and everything's crammed in all, all to, you know, such a short period of time. But if I have a whole semester plus, if I'm at a college there would be resources available to me in case I'm having problems with the material like math and science I took science twice I've taken science twice in my life in third grade yes third grade which basically amounts to feeding fish and in college yes in college I took math I took botany and I actually understood it I believe it or not I was doing pretty good until I dropped but um actually I say dropped I mean I was just auditing the, the class because I I was scared that I wasn't gonna understand any of it but I understood it anyway so you know I mean and, and what I could do is I could volunteer with the town's EMS town's ambulance that way I, I would be putting what I'm learning into action and I would be basically be reinforcing everything and I could ask them questions I could watch what they do I could listen to them so that would be that would be good that would be good um, now in our town I, I wouldn't get paid for that we have a volunteer fire department and that's fine I don't have an issue with that. I mean, I'd rather volunteer anyway. And and then, you know, maybe in the future, I could get a job with Delenzio, Delori. De... Anyway, it's one of, one of the private ambulance companies up here. Delusio. That or with the Keene Fire Department. And see, where we live, if the town, the town horn... Foghorn. The foghorn. If it That's sounds, it sounds like. yeah. If it sounds, yeah, I'm getting pimples, people. See, or at least they're just discoloration. Anyway, um, I could probably get over to the ambulance faster than people that are driving because we we live so close. But we'd get lights for our car. But. Anyway, I mean, I think that would be good because I like health care. And that way I'd actually be helping people. I wouldn't be working in an office. I wouldn't be working in central supply. I, I, I would actually be working with people. 
which sometimes would be very difficult. Other times it would not be difficult. And of course, I'd have to get up in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day, yeah, or try to get you awake. Yeah, trying to get me awake. I'd have to talk to them about that. Yeah, that'd be fun trying to get you awake. Yeah. I'd have to. <laughs> I don't know what I'd have to do to get you awake. Yeah, because when I take these, he's dead to the world. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's 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 a thought. It's an idea. We were cleaning out the car. I know I haven't made a video in so long. There's a lot to talk about. This is the ticket I got. It's not really a ticket. It's a warning in Vermont for. Let's see if it. It's just as I was speeding. It doesn't have the speed limit that I was, I mean, the speed that I was going. It has this badge number and name on there, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, I was, <laughs> I was really going. I wouldn't have said the things I said to him, except, you know, I mean, it was true, but I was trying not to get a ticket. So he gave me a warning. But that was last year. I think the only thing that saved you was that I was my day of surgery. No. Um, let's see. Ten, eight, thirteen. Well, that's a way to remember my wife's surgery date. I don't think that's something she really wants to remember, though. But anyway, October seventh. Oh, this says the eighth on it. Yeah. Well, anyway, so this video is almost thirty minutes long. Oh gosh, I don't know what else to say. Um, I hope I find that. $20 money order. We can go get some food. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll figure out a way to get this up to YouTube eventually. Right now, I don't know how to do it. So, I mean, I know how to do it. Once I find the file, I'll, I think I know how to do it, but I have to find the freaking file. So, anyways, bye bye.